Okay, 10 minute zero game. Let's see what we've got today. Okay, let's push through the center here. Let's grab. It may look like we do the same opening, same type of movements all the time, but it just sets that pattern in the head. So if you're playing maybe a serious game, then you have something to kind of fall back on. It's nothing more complicated than that. It's just trying to keep doing the stuff that you're familiar with as best possible based on what the opponent's doing because if you don't have a plan of sorts or a strategy of sorts then you're just kind of just flailing all over the place so we're going to take because it's looking to manage this area uh, I think they probably may have lost a bit of tempo but are they going for a bit of magic but still the rook is defending the queen I think what they're going to go for is this here and we can just take it off the board but then the knight can come and put a check on the king the king comes back then their queen is looking to come here oh yeah they're going for the squish little bit of magic they're going for there can we circumvent that i think i'm going to bring the bishop here and then it kind of circumvents the queen from coming down this pathway so they're still going for it anyway Alright, okay, so then the knight comes down, puts the check on and gets the queen, gets that gets our bishop. Ah so if we move the king out of the way and not take the bishop, then the bishop gets away and they've just got the pawn back. Simple as that. So let's just move the king out of the way. So we've kind of spoiled their party. I'm going to take the pawn now. So we're on the queen anyway. So little things like that, like we just were mentioning about just getting familiar with the position as best possible and try and see if you can circumvent the opponent's attempts. Their bishop is actually x-raying through to the pawn. They're looking to get really activated. If we did push on here, they might forget themselves and come here looking for the fork. Don't think there's much weight with them coming here. Oh, and they've left the game. Left the game because we're probably taking too long. But I think that was a good example of circumventing those quick and dirty tactics type of situations. And we'll go through and just take a little look at what we were ex trying to explain. Alright, so the bishops come back, obviously looking for this, as we mentioned. And we brought the bishop up looking to circumvent realizing that well the actual computer is saying it's happy and it is saying just take because what they're looking at doing is doing this it is saying the queen taking here then the bishop would take then we take the queen so yeah i didn't see it that way i thought well let's just get out of the way altogether let's see how bad that is oh it did drop quite a bit dropped um, three points really Okay, so we didn't need to be too concerned about the move order based on this evaluation. But I felt fairly happy not getting involved in that type of, type of tactical arrangement. So they brought the bishop back and then we could take the pawn and it looks pretty straightforward to me. So there was no major advantage lost in any way shape in terms of position on the board. So fairly happy with that and then the knight comes down obviously at that point then they kind of realized that maybe the move order of things might have been a little bit wrong touching onto the knight where does the knight actually go like we were just talking if they go here and they forget themselves then the bishop is going to take the knight couldn't really see anything going here so we were going to be pushing the knight yeah, pawn onto the knight so it's probably gonna have to jump back to where it came from but the speed at which the opponent was actually playing they probably would have jumped here and the bishop would have taken Hmm, interesting game. Okay, 10 minutes zero. As we're currently practicing, it's just trying to utilize the positions and movements that we're familiar with. Or we feel a bit more comfortable with, rather, say. And let's just castle, king safety.
we could push through the centre here because they're going for this stonewall looking thing, but maybe we'll lose out. So I'm actually just going to bring this pawn here. So he's coming for the king side. Right, we can just go like this. Open up the bishop. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming towards our king. What do we do? This is lazy man's chess that they're doing here. Doesn't mean it's ineffective, it's just that it's very lazy. They're not developing any of the pieces. So I want to circumvent this. I'm going to just push this pawn. Open up the y square bishop. Sit here. I'm going to sit here. It's attacking our bishop. Got the x ray through to the rook. It's kind of our bad bishop kingside bishop so we could look to take it off the board we'll keep it there for now and just hit this pawn here maybe bring the bishop back or keep it in the center all right so the rook's getting involved um, very lazy player very lazy okay let's just push this here we can be lazy too so we just get the pawns in the center with the captures just bring the knight around to come back again Playing lazy chess here. It's all locked down. Yep, let's go here. And then try and get some opening on this um, far file. They'll be looking to try and get in there. Let's just take here. We're on the night. Let's push onto the pawn. So where he lands. Oh, he's going for our night. So we could come here to come here. Let's just do that. Lazy, lazy chess. And let's take... Making space towards our king. Maybe the bishop. Maybe not yet. Yep, so the queen is coming towards our king. We can hit this pawn, or are we? Oh, hold on one second. Oh, before I do that, let's take this. And obviously, maybe the rook at some point is going to be coming here. Have a little touch here with the kick queen. Lazy man's chess. Knights come up, can put the check on the king, king escapes, is there anything magical? Not really, let's put the check anyway. It's probably best not to get carried away now. Simple captures, knight taking the knight. Don't think there's anything on the queen, bishop can come here. Do you know if we took, but then if he did take with the queen, then we'd be able to get the queen off the ball. But I think the bishop will take. So it's probably best bringing the bishop attacking the queen. Queen's moved out of the way. Bishop's defending. Queen's looking. Can take the queen off the ball. Don't need to be arty. But then the knight's going to be, yeah, okay, let's just do that. And take and take okay so just gonna push on to this pawn their bishop looks out of commission at the minute so it's pro well maybe the rook's gonna move up then it comes here then it's trying to manage this square so we're gonna have to give them things to think about let's open up a space maybe try and get the rook in up because they're going to be doubling up with their rook. So we're going to just push this here. See if we can get sighted here. Bishop's going to be coming here looking to take this like we mentioned. Let's bring the rook. Potential for getting the bishop off the board. But I think the bishop will be moving like we said. It's going to be putting... Oh, oh no, they've lost the rook. Must have been a bit of a panic move. And either they're resigning or just... Okay, right, so we're carrying on. Can we go for the bishop? He drops down. Bring the rook up. 
Let's go for the bishop. He might just go for a simple exchange of the rook now because they're kind of fed up. Actually, bishop can't go there, get taken. So the king's gone down, rook can put a check on. He goes, comes for our rook. <laughs> Don't overthink it, but um, could continue going here. Let's put the check on the king, attacking the pawn. Comes across, we go back again, looking to get the king and the rook. So we'll get the bishop or the rook, whichever way. We'll get the rook. And they may resign at this point. Nice game. 10 and 0. As usual, just doing the usual. Patterns, capturing. Supporting pieces as best possible. Let's block this pawn off. Make sure the king is safe. Simple stuff. See if we can take advantage of any key spaces, key squares. We're going to x-ray through to the king. I'm going to take and then castle, king safety. And as we know, try to give my king some company maybe, get the bishop around, get a check on the king if he's going to be lazy. So just bring the rook and put a check on the king. So we can take the pawn now. Bishop's not gonna be able to take it back just yet. Uh, we can hit the knight. still got the pressure on the bishop x-raying through to the king but they can go on castle because the queen is supporting so we could maybe bring this back here but he's got enough time to get his rook behind as well so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the tail i'm actually going to bring the rook here attacking the queen or i'm actually going to see if i can get the queen off the board let's see if we can do that they might not they might go to the side Okay, going to take. Now the rook has to take, but then is there a back rank checkmate if we go and take the bishop? There's nothing that can defend the knight. Can't, knight can come here, but then we get taken. But then the rook is defending the knight. I'm going to chance it. Let's take. There's also a back rank checkmate against them. So we can bring the rook back actually to face it off. We don't even need to bring the knight. Because if we bring the knight, then the bishop's going to move, maybe blocking the rook from uh, protecting. So we may as well just attack the rook. Keep it simple and um, capture. So we're up a minor piece out of that exchange. So now all we need to do is sit tight, defend pieces, slowly develop, make sure the king is safe and get the rook involved. So they're still continuing on. The knight is defending this pawn. I can't afford to trade down. I'm actually going to bring the bishop like we said, although I could attack this pawn to give them something to think about. I can envisage the rook is coming here to attack the knight, although the rook is kind of defending. Okay, let's just take, looks like they're giving up now. So another interesting game. They're still carrying on, but it looks like they've kind of given up really. Um, if the bishop goes and takes, the rook comes down, attacks the knight. 
Rook comes to defend. Simple chess. Okay, let's go with that. And it looks like they've left the game. Another interesting game. We're having a half decent run today. We'll claim victory on that one. Let's attack the pawn as we do and develop the knight. So we push through the center here. Let's grab. It's getting a bit fancy. Let's just take this knight. Let's take the pawn. Let's take the knight. Attack the king. Take the pawn and get the rook. Let's take the rook, higher piece. And shall we castle? Or is there anything else? Maybe putting a check on the king. Just to give them something to think about. And let's castle now. the gold castle so they're looking for a battery but it's not too dangerous the queen is protected now so we could attack the bishop pawn drops where's the bishop bouncing to nowhere special so shall we just do this it's attacking the b pawn let's just hang back Probably going to bring the okay. Just bring the bishop and attack the pawn. Z. Next room through to the rook. Yeah, like I was kind of saying, it's got a battery, but it's not a key battery unless, of course, he does this, and then looks to try and get his queen here for a checkmate. So there is some method in the madness. It's one move away. Now, we could push, but the bishop can take. We can. If we take the pawn, just take the pawn with the bishop. Then he pushes down. It's a move order thing, isn't it? This really. If we brought the queen here. I think it's better bringing this queen here because then if they do do that then the queen is not coming here at all so they'll be looking to try and get rid of our queen we can sight our queen here and then they'll try and keep attacking the queen but we'll just take the bishop off the board anyway so let's go and bring the queen here so looking at the blind spots and the potential yes we have the potential to try and strangulate here but there is that pattern yeah he's still going for it <laughs> he's still going for it <laughs> oh that makes me laugh right so we can bring the queen down here because we know the pawns are going to be attacking the king so we may as well do that yes yeah like, why not let's do that So now there's going to be a big fight to get these down. Oh, it's going to... Yeah, because now we can't take the bishop. We're going to take the pawn. Now we've got a checkmate threat here. And it looks like the mate is on. Let me get this right. Yes, excellent. Bit 10 and 0. <clears throat> this must be one of the best runs I've had for a while. Let's see if we can maintain it. Simple. Shall we attack the pawn? Scrab. So 
It's attacking, so I want to go on castle. Shall we just go soft? We'll go soft, nice and steady. There's no rush. Castle. Simple capture. Give the king company. X-ray through to the king, queen. It's developing a piece, so probably prefer this one as an option. Bishop's gone back. So how's it looking? Probably not moving this night because this pawn's looking to push past. Maybe a two on one, although he does have a two on one protection. Just going to bring the bishop here, put a bit of pressure onto this pawn. It's got it covered twice. wouldn't rush too much to move this out of the way because it simply pushes the pawn and there's only one piece attacking and defending which is the queen <clears throat> exactly it's almost kind of wanting us to take here I mean they take and then this pawn has got that position that we said they're looking for, which is pushing onto the knight. Is there something different then? Can we take, but then it's putting more pressure onto our knight? Let me just bring the rook, develop the rook. I'm just going to develop the rook because taking a little seat back and saying oh if you overpress, this is where the attacking thing comes in you think yeah let's just attack let's take pieces off the board you do them strategically at the right moments well as best possible anyway i'm not saying i'm doing this perfect at all in any way shape um, as you know so we're trying to practice and learn from what we've been picking up so again same principle not really capturing but there is a slight difference because the bishop is blocking the queen now from actually defending the pawn. So there's only one piece that is actually defending. The question is, if I take, then they take. This bishop is going to be in a little bit of a situation. So it's a move order type of um, thing. If we take, I'll say the bishop takes. Hmm. I think there's a winning thing here somewhere. Well, in terms of gaining better position. Knight comes here. The knight takes, it's protecting this square. And then if we did take, then the knight would take and then we wouldn't have that knight back. So there might be material up. The rook is guarding this square, so let's have a look at that. Knight takes. Knight takes. Bishop takes. Queen's not going to take, but this knight's going to take, isn't it? Okay, wait a minute. Knight takes. Knight takes. Bishop takes, knight takes, yeah 
I don't think it works, does it? I'm gonna have to look at that in the evaluation afterwards. Um, something's telling me it's not working. I'm gonna take this. And then go for this. But he's got a two on one, hasn't he? So let's take that. It's still going to come back down to this pot moving here. Now this bishop's got this pot near. <laughs> oh, so I didn't circumvent anything. I think I've made it worse for myself. <laughs> oh, oh. Messing about with the arrows. Messing about. Yeah, I know it's a bow slip. Just thinking, what are you doing, dude? Bow slip. Yeah, I was messing with the arrows. That is my fault. Let's just carry on. We'll carry on. We're on the rook. They might forget themselves. Oh, he's got a two on one as well. I think we should resign this one. That was a little bit of a boob. That was a bit of a boob. It's almost like they giving gave me it back because I they know I did a bit of a mouse slip with my knight. So these things do happen. <laughs> these things do happen. The more human the game, the the you, you're gonna get these errors. So any players that are going, oh, you garbage because you missed this, that, and the other. You may want to take a look at your own games first. Even world champions make some serious blobs, so you, you can't you can't judge. What do we do from here then? Are we looking to try and fashion some of it? I'm thinking of doing this, putting a two on one situation. This bishop's gonna come down for our pawn, this pawn here. Shall we ignore that? If we go here, bishop takes us on our rook. Rook takes on the queen. Okay, let's do that. Keep it simple. After we've got over the shock factor, is there the snowball effect of more bad moves from both of us? Because that always happens in it. Once you make one bad move, it just seems to snowball and snowball, and you just can't get out of it. So I'd like to say this is an interesting game, but for me, these types of games are brilliant for your over the board type um, scenarios. It's actually attacking the damn rook. I don't think this is gonna work for us, is it? Take. Attack. I'll take the pawn. So you got a back ranker of some sort on me. Attack. We attack the bishop. Bishop goes somewhere. Maybe in front. I think we can probably afford to attack the bishop. I'm wincing now because the snowball effect is just massive. I don't really know what's happening at the minute. Yeah, it does take. So we could take... Bishop takes. Or we could just go here and then we're on both bishops. With the rooks, surely. There's no direct check. If he comes down, we can take. Has the snowball got bigger for them and not, not for us? 
Oh, come on, this has got to hurt. I can't go rushing up because he's going to get a backer anchor. But I could get more material off the board. If I take and then he takes and then I take, I've still got like a bishop against his rook. A rook and the bishop, sorry. So I'm going to take just to reduce down. If he comes, we take. Well, if he comes, we go up and put a check on. And we take. So we're covering our king. Less pieces on the board. Oh, I'm breathing a sigh of relief, but things can still happen. Let's just push this now. Give, give the king a bit of space to be able to move. It's probably coming here now for attacking the bishop. No, it looks like they may be doing give up moves. Shall we attack the pawn? Attack the pawn, it comes down, comes back up again, attacks the bishop. Attack the pawn. Attack the pawn. Take the pawn. It's going to take this pawn here. It's going to be in the center of the board. I think that's worthwhile doing. Let's go. Take this. Bishop's got diagonal to here, so we could go check but then he can go here then we can go check then he comes around the back don't know if that's worthwhile that might be a bit too arty might could hit his not his rook his rook comes across and attacks the bishop check check checks first let's just do the check he comes there. He doesn't go there. It's gonna hide here. Bishop goes. Bishop puts a check on. He goes down. Uh, it might be too silly doing that sort of stuff. So let's just attack the rook. Because he can escape, you see. And if we can get maybe a pawn blocking off that escape. Oh, nice touch. It's going to be taking the pawn out. Move the king. So if we can get this pawn to maybe here. So I'll check. Although if we do that, he can just come here, can't he? So I think that's just a nugatory piece of work. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Let's hit the rook. Pawn takes with a check on the king. So that might not be good, might it? Take. Rook takes. Put a check on. Let's take. I think I'm overthinking this. One minute twenty-seven. Craggy. It's not a long play game. Let's go here. All right. So this might be it. Might it? Check. Nugatory check. <laughs> it means nothing. It's, doesn't wants doesn't want to go in a dark square, but it's uh, kind of having to. Then let's go here. I'm in bullet mode now. Come on, speed up. This is the game where the snowball totally messed both of us up. So I can picture myself making a big massive mistake anytime soon. Let's put the check on the king. 
rooks on a dark square. Just wanting to hide. No, he's not hiding there. Just attack the rook. Might forget themselves. He's coming for a check on the king. Got to be careful not to do that, but he's going to push this, but we can take. Oh, he's looking to close us down and take the rook off the board. Oh, thankfully the snowball didn't get any worse for us. Just hate them sort of games and they've resigned. Excellent. That will be the last one. Whew.